Do you know what I hate more than anything in the world? What's that, Julian? When you go through the effort of putting up a play at Cam, and thank you, and they just, they just, they hate each other so much that they can't bear to sit next to each other <laughs> in decent proximity of the camera. All that work and effort. I know, nothing. I try my hardest. Right. And so we've got the matchup of the Stone Faced tonight. Rather, two very um, emotive characters. Mm. Should we say, being that they are emote worthy at almost every every opportunity. Yes. Um, we are going for a spooky matchup. I would say Shadow Mewtwo from the <laughs> legendary Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Try find a copy of that on eBay. Um, versus Bayonetta, uh, fifteen pound in your local catch. Pokemon XD more like Pokemon extremely hard to buy. <laughs> yeah, wrong that. Are we on gamer? Wait, wait are we just actually playing gamer? Is this our first set? Okay. Yes! Let's okay. go! We're the just... best stage in Smash 4! Wait, this is coming from Darius as well. What's happening? The king of no fun is now the king of fun. To be fair, this is the spookiest okay. stage. Yeah, we're actually going full spook. If you've ever actually played Gamer, the Game & Wario game, it is the most terrifying experience you can get on a Nintendo system. Eternal Darkness, eat your heart out. <laughs> Gamer is wonderful. We even got the weird claymation bird. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a difficult one now because of course Ben uh, relies so much on controlling that crowd, getting in those long heel slides, forcing yeah. his approaches, and then suddenly there's this third party in the mix of Mom in the background. Yeah. And. <laughs> And it's never quite clear when it's going to happen. Everyone's getting a little scared, I think. Everyone, it's, every, it's a very patient game. You notice how everyone's kind of gravitating towards that block on them, just yeah. in case. But this is a very... A very bare and barren format of game as well. Kizo deleting the stage. He's deleting the stars very quickly. <laughs> deleting the stage. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. It's Mom's this going one. nemesis mode! There it is. I was waiting on it and it did not disappoint. That's the problem. I mean, it's going to be really hard for Bayonetta to get in because she doesn't want to get caught by Mum. And also, Kizo has a projectile. A really good projectile. Yeah, Shadow Ball's pretty good. Pretty good. It's not exactly a current projectile, but it's a good projectile. It's not exactly Farco Laser. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. But yeah, right now, Kizo with a pretty dominant start. Yeah. Well, start. Keep dominant endgame, I think. Keeping those nares in. There's that Shadow Ball. Bayonet is surviving. Nairing on the way down there. And we are lapped, boys. We were lapped for a second. Mom raising up in the background. I heard a little bit of a foul oh, exclamation. Yeah, Darius got gamered. Darius has got to be questioning that uh, creative counterpick at this point. Okay. What yeah. is that? The king of no fun was defeated by fun. Smiles always win. Yep. It is the season of smiles after all. The summer of smiles rolls on into winter. Yep. Congrats to anyone who actually knows what we're talking about. <laughs> Town and city. No fun reigns yet again. Yeah, we, we're going to have to make it rain, aren't we? I can't, I can't do that. Yeah. We don't have, we don't have cover there. How about when the set's over, we just do that? Right, Town and City. Yep. I was about to say I could DK over, but then I got to rest out. <laughs> Town and City. Gonna benefit Bayonetta, of course. Tiny ceiling on the stage in comparison to the yeah, things That like said, you all you need to do is get Bayonetta for that gift set. And then one up throw is all it takes. Yeah. You two with a very potent kill throw as much more. And the back throw, nothing to uh, scoff at either. Yeah, and what we saw right there was the rare downwards, uh, up, I mean, upwards downwards as well. I'm sorry, it looked like Bayonetta almost crouch cancelled that, uh, splash. <laughs> Didn't hit by the first hit. Oh, and we've got bad oh, There's deletion. I, I, I could clearly hear and see because I was trying to SDI that, but it did not work. And your day could have done it. He's actually really good at SDI. Don't give him credit. on this second stop so far. Of course, Ooh, it, does build, the wrong way there. it does build up very, very quickly. Yep. 
very good out of shield by an of course. Oh, and the, just shadow balls the heal slide. Survives it. Yep, from the middle of the stage. Looking Ooh, for witch I'm time. I'm kind of surprised it almost killed. Ooh, and a good tech there by Darius. Ensuring that he keeps surviving just until that very second. He manages to uh, get a little bit on the clock, a little bit of extra credit. Yep. Every little bit counts. Of course, Mewtwo, a bit of a glass cannon, dies very, very early. Especially yep. when Bayonetta's in play. Um, so every little bit of percent against uh, Mewtwo can do a lot of difference. It tends to die around 90, I'd say. Maybe a bit later. Versus Bayonetta, probably earlier. Case in point. Around 77? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darius sliding back into a, a more respectable position. There. So he's getting back to what's more familiar. Just say heel sliding back, perhaps. Ask him. About it. She's a lovely one. She's an incredible lovely one. Anyway, shout outs to mum. Shout outs to mums everywhere. Okay, so where do you go? Smashville, apparently. Yeah. yeah, I can actually see that with Mewtwo. Yeah. Those fair kills. Mewtwo is going to want to space oh. around Bayonetta and then kind of get away from that ground. But she do he doesn't want to get heel slid. He, she, I don't know, I guess. He doesn't want to get, he doesn't want to eat the uh, heel slide, so he's going to want that platform to retreat to. Bayonetta, of course, is going to want to stop. And just try and hold that, use that actual platform to link together those ladders. Um, we shall so, see. Yeah. He's approaching a bit more of a defensive style at the moment. Just, it's kind of hard to know what to do right to, be, uh, to be fair. Yeah, trying to get those grabs, trying to get those little bits. Yeah. Chipping away right back. Oh no, and we've got On the, the side. Oh, the Leo card. And are we getting it again? Oh, I saw <laughs> he went for it again. Darius feeling cheeky. I mean, to be fair, if you're playing Bayo and not feeling cheeky, you to it. Very true. I feel like it's kind of a fight. Oh, Ooh, and there's Gizzo, that up smash. Gizzo saw that up be coming a mile away. Well, that's the thing. Kieran's been kind of sliding in with that up smash, which, you know, it's a very good option. Yep. But he catches with the max shadow ball again. Feo is going to be able to play around that. He's going to be able to punish very, very hard if you do kind of go in on her too far. Mm. Um, so it's probably better to keep using that up smash just to get two cover landings. Because, you know, Bayonetta, for all of her amazing potential, as yeah. we say, potency. Right. Uh, not particularly great at landing. She has the uh, the um, afterburner kick down. So she has the. I would say the nah, I guess. Oh, but we've got them. <laughs> Who needs to land when you can't even touch the ground? Yeah. And I think that counts as a JV. Oh, it's, there was one percent. There was one percent. It was magnified percent. That doesn't count. That's right. JV 0.9. Oh boy. Look at that dead look in Kieran's eyes. That is a man who knows exactly what he's up against. And just looks like Kieran. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Kirby! Kerbo! Oh, and we saw this Kirby going great effect against Meza. Yeah, kind of, uh... That said... Clearing up. There's a notable gap, shall we say, between DK and Bayo. DK Kirby and Bayo Kirby are very different sides of the matchup spectrum. Yeah. Uh, Kirby, of course, kind of benefit. One of the. I always consider Kirby quite a low percent character. Very good at kind of building up those early uh, percent yeah. leads. Getting those great follow ups. Amazing down throw follow ups. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, gonna be difficult to get the kill on Bayonetta in that percent because her, her, Kirby's inherent gimping tools aren't gonna be great against Bayonetta. No, Kirby will not be able to touch one part of the he can still try. Like, he's trying to go high for it and then kind of come down yeah, with the down air. But then there's also the risk that if he RPs, it just get it just goes through Kirby's down air let's anyway. Let's and it seems it. almost random at times whether or not it will. Bayo will out prioritize everything in your set, so yeah, and it's a risky, risky choice. Kirby's hitboxing again. Bayo just feeds on small hitbox characters because you can't do much against those hitboxes. You canna, you canna do it. So close. There's oh. that wedge time. And where's it going to go? Builds up. Darius got a good follow up from yeah, it. Yeah, very good, very confident. Ooh, was he trying to reach me or...? Oh, he just messed up. Word from Darius himself. To be fair, despite his inherent depression as a, as a person, Darius is doing quite wonderful at keeping his composure in this game. It doesn't feel like he's overextending. 
because he's just going through the motions. Yep. Which is really the most dangerous form of bench. Oh, yeah. When they're just in their comfort zone entirely. Yeah. Because it's having to play catch up. And again, Kirby at 101% on final stock versus Bayonetta with two stocks. That was a good down smash follow up. He's you know, taking his opportunities. Kirby uh, busting give it, out the Meta Knight skin and I'll using some the of the old. I'll give him the using some of the old Brawl Meta Knight. Uh, Tricks of covering every single landing with down smash. Oh, shout outs to Path. Shout outs to Path. Uh, that was a very interesting choice by Darius, deciding to kill Gig into the. And who even cares at this point? It's that's that's a a took it. Look at that. That is a smile. That is a happy young man. That is the one glimmer of Darius light. Has that, no, let's give it to him. Darius has beat Kizo. That's an upset. It's, it's, it's an upset. I'm not even sure at this point. I feel like Darius is established enough where I wouldn't consider that an upset. I'd I haven't been in sock for ages. I'd consider it a. Uh, oh, what? Do you mean the second star? I guess, I guess the decisiveness of it, I'd consider a, a, more of an upset. Because yeah, that was. We've, we've got Darius and Grands. After game one, that was just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Darius and winner's side of Grands. Like, actually, think on that for a second. I hate Bayonetta. Bayonetta carries this man, he's not actually that good. He's just well dressed, don't believe him. <laughs> we have admission from the man himself. Barrel does indeed carry This mic will pick up literally anything, so you heard it here first, folks. This uh, this PSA was brought to you by the Anti Bayo Gang. That's AKA the... the Smash 4 community. Oh, oh, and also, I actually like Bayonetta. So... Eh. 